A woman will appear in court tomorrow accused of poisoning food at two Brisbane restaurants. Tests have confirmed green pellets found in salad bars at the Sizzler outlets were similar to rat poison. Police acted quickly, arresting a 57-year-old Brisbane woman who's facing six charges relating to the contamination of food with rat poison at two Sizzler restaurants. At this stage, I can't make any comments in relation to the investigation or the motives behind the two incidents. Police have refused to say if she's a disgruntled former employee. Despite the arrest, Sizzler says it will be at least a week before it can reopen its salad bars. This issue has highlighted uh, some shortfalls in our uh, product security management. Uh, we have a couple of things that we need to complete at this stage before we will introduce those procedures to every restaurant in the country. The Queensland government met food industry leaders this morning to make sure any future events are handled better. Well, we're looking at uh, a number of models that are in existence as to how you can put in place mandatory reporting of incidences where the tampering of food uh, is suspected. The state's Peak Restaurant Association agrees the process needs to be improved. The laboratories fell and we want to see uh, those sort of um, uh, processes tightened up. Uh, if, if this was going to be something serious, we need to know about it sooner. The state government hopes to finalise a mandatory reporting model and take it to Parliament within weeks. The woman charged will appear in court tomorrow morning. Mark Hydes, ABC what is foodborne illness? Foodborne illness is an illness resulting from a consumed contaminated food. The factors that contributes to foodborne illness are Time and temperature abuse Poor personal hygiene And cross contamination Time and temperature abuse is when the food is exposed in a temperature danger zone that is enough time for the bacteria to grow rapidly. The specific temperature ranges from 41 degrees Fahrenheit to 135 degrees Fahrenheit or 5 degrees Celsius to 57 degrees Celsius. Keep cold foods cold and hot foods hot, otherwise don't keep the food. Keep cold foods below the minimum temperature danger zone while keep hot foods above the maximum temperature danger zone. Cross-contamination Cross-contamination is the transfer of germs from one surface to another. The most common example is using a dirty chopping board. Next is in the refrigerator, we must not put raw foods over a ready-to-eat food to avoid contamination. Poor personal hygiene. Even healthy humans can be a source of harmful microorganisms. So, we must know when and how to wash our hands. We should wear clean clothing. We must also maintain good personal habits. We should also maintain good health and avoid smoking, eating, and using jewelries while cooking. When to wash our hands Before and after food preparation After touching human or animals, body parts after using the toilet, after coughing or sneezing, and during food preparation. Hi, I'm Genji, and I will demonstrate you how to wash your hands properly. First, wet hands, apply soap. Briefly rub hands for 20 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Scrub fingertips and between fingers. Thank you. 
scrub forearm to just below elbow. Rinse forearms and hands. Then turn off the water. Dry hands and forearms. Then turn door knob and open door using paper towel. Finally, discard the paper paper towel. <laughs>